This video will highlight tips for accessing Naxos files within your course. It is important to check the buzz announcements in the right hand corner for additional details. This will include a username and password. If you do not see this information, please reach out to your main contact who should have received these details. Next, click on your course and make sure you review any specific NASOS instructions already existing in the course resources. You will follow these directions by copying the information in step two into a new Chrome tab. Next, make sure you disable the steps from the instructions and relaunch. Once you relaunch, return back to Buzz. You can then return back to your course information and click on a learning object that contains the file. You will see here in this example, there are multiple files within the same learning object. Each one shows trial listen. This is not the specific file associated to the content of the course. You will need to go to that first one and scroll to the far right. You will then enter the username and password that was specified in those instructions within the announcement. Once the username and password is applied, you will see that your appropriate file will load. If I scroll down to that next file, you will see it's still on trial listen. It is important to go up and refresh. And now each time I access those files within this course, I will see the appropriate file that is mentioned. I can navigate to the next learning object that contains a file and I will see that it is still logged in and correct. If I log out and log back in, I will need to follow the steps again for ensuring that I log into Nassos and refresh. You will notice that if I navigate from different items in the course, I'm still logged in to the Nassos. It's when I log out and log back in that I need to repeat the steps. Thank you and have a great day.